People are loyal to their grocery stores. And nowhere is that more true than Wegmans, started in New York. Wegmans open-air, European-styled markets offer beautifully fresh produce, artisan breads, specialty cheeses, aged in their own cheese caves, and so many gourmet varieties, it's easy to lose count. Brothers John and Walter Wegman grew up in their parents' stores. Walter worked in the store, and John pushed around a produce push cart in Rochester, New York. In 1916, John opened Rochester Fruit and Vegetable Company, marking the start of Wegman's food markets. His brother Walter joined him the next year. In 1921, they expanded to add general groceries too. Fast forward to 1930. The brothers took the meaning of go big or go home to heart and opened an astonishing 20,000 square foot grocery store, jaw-dropping and eye-popping for its time. That even included a cafeteria big enough to sit 300 people. The store featured cutting-edge technology like refrigerated food displays and vaporized water sprays to keep the fruits and vegetables fresh. The rest of the 1930s brought additional growth and expansion for Wegmans. Walter's son Robert joined the company in 1937. He was just 19 years old. In 1940, the first frozen foods appeared in the store, called Frosted Foods. Wegmans opened its first suburban location in the 12 Corners Shopping Center, its ninth store, in 1941. And to close out the decade, Robert Wegman converted all of the stores to self-service, a new revolutionary concept. Robert Wegman became president of Wegmans in 1950 at the age of 31. He was determined to build the finest supermarket chain around. One of the first things he did as president was to raise all salaries. This set the stage as to how his employees were viewed and treated, and that, he knew, would trickle down to how the customers were viewed and treated. In the 50s and 60s, more stores opened, each one seemingly bigger and better than the last. Picture windows into the butcher area, cash registers that automatically configured change, conveyor belts that sped up the checkout process, air conditioning, magic carpet doors, and incandescent bulbs with fluorescent tubes to mimic daylight. The food service grew too with deli counters, a barbecue section, a bakery, and other specialty and gourmet items. In 1967, they started their own egg producing operation. In the 1970s, Wegmans began operations at their own meat distribution center called the Meat Center. They opened an in-store pharmacy and launched their seafood department. They are also one of the first stores in the country to use a laser scanner to read UPC codes on their products, speeding up the checkout process yet again. Today, Wegmans has more than 100 stores and continues to expand. It's still in the family too, with Danny Wegman, Robert's son at the helm, and the stores are enormous. They have to be to accommodate the inventory. According to the Food Marketing Institute, the average number of items carried in a store is around 33,000, but Wegmans' largest stores offer between 50,000 and 70,000 products in anywhere from 75,000 to 140,000 square feet of space. The average supermarket is only about 41,000 square feet, and the items move Wegmans has exceptional produce, and that's because it's so fresh. Most supermarkets turn over their produce 18 to 20 times a year. At Wegmans, that number is more like 100 times a year. There's simply no time for the items to go bad.
Wegmans is in the cheese business too. In 2014, they opened their own cheese caves near their headquarters in Rochester to age cheese for their stores, just like the European cheese caves. It's run by an expert cheese connoisseur from France and has seven high-tech rooms that ripen cheese under the perfect conditions. In 2018, Wegmans won two gold medals at the American Cheese Society competition for two of their own creations, the 1916 aged goat milk cheese and the Professor's Brie. Wegmans still takes care of their employees. In fact, their philosophy is employees first, customers second. It's consistently on Fortune Magazine's 100 Best Companies to Work For, even landing at number one in 2005 and number three in 2019. They invest in their workforce, making sure their employees are experts in their respective areas. Some even go on trips to learn. A butcher, for instance, may go to Montana to visit the ranch where the steak comes from. The baker has autonomy to create, and all of this translates to customer service. Staff can talk shop about where the food is from, how it tastes, and how best to prepare it. When a new store opens, applicants far outweigh the number of positions available. In 2013, when the new Wegmans opened in Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania, 10,000 people applied for 500 jobs. That's a 5% acceptance rate, steeper than even Harvard's 5.8% of college acceptance. But for all of their accolades, Perhaps there was no greater honor than having a musical created just for you. That's right, a group of musical theater students from Massachusetts rewrote Broadway show tunes to honor the store in a show. Two of the songs are about cheese. Seasons of Love from Rent was called Wegmans We Love and begins with 525,600 square feet. How do you measure the variety here? Thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.